Hello, my name is Kyle Abraham. I am the artistic director of AIM, AIM, a modern and contemporary dance company that is based primarily in New York City, although I split my time between New York and Los Angeles. Um, I'm here today to talk to you about working with composer Nico Muley. He is one of my absolute favorite people, one of my favorite composers. Um, so it's really exciting to have an opportunity to talk about the ways in which we've collaborated in the past or more recently. Uh, the first time we worked together was on a work called Frail that was commissioned by Les Subsistances in Lyon, France. Um, and that was a really exciting project, but also a little crazy project because I had to cancel the first couple shows. I couldn't perform. I um, couldn't even walk. Um, but it was a wonderful process and project nonetheless. And it was a great introduction to me meeting Nico in person. Anyone that's ever met him can tell you how charismatic he is. Um, and how just brilliant the man is. Um, so it was great to work with him then, and it's been great to work with him over the years. Uh, more recently, in a work for my company called Studies on a Farewell. Uh, at the Joyce Theater, we premiered uh, kind of a version of the work. There's two more sections that we didn't show when we did the Joyce season, but hopefully we will show it in its entirety sometime in the future. Um, but one great thing to note is that we were able to have live music for that presentation. Uh, that music was actually a work of Nico's called Four Studies uh, that we've expanded the title and shifted it in some way to address what I was really interested in uh, in the process of making this work. I was really thinking about relationships and intimacy um, and what it's like to love someone and know that that relationship may not be right for you and or maybe you want it to be right but somebody else is telling you it's not right for you. Um, so I think all of those things were kind of coming up in the process. Uh, but it also was a different creative way of working for us, um, or at least this current configuration of the company. Um, I started the work by creating a series of phrases, and so for people that may not be familiar with that type of lingo or language, um, it's really just a sequence of steps that I would generate out of my body and teach it to the dancers. They would learn it, and then I would ask them to make variations on um, those phrases. In most cases, I asked them to make duets. Um, you'll see some of those duets in the work and on the video that you're watching right now. Um, but we also worked on quartets and trios, and a lot of those were based off of either a task that I gave the dancers or an improvisational score. Uh, and a lot of the work uh, was actually created from using an improvisational score. I would record the dancers over and over for maybe like uh, 20 minute um, sessions of improvising while using the movement that I generated and that the dancers generated um, and allowing space for them to also just take risks and navigate through each other's bodies and through different um, modalities in the space. Um, and then from setting those videos, I would look at them side to side and try and play one on top of the other and try and find moments that I could connect to each other to kind of create a narrative for myself. 